Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to implement a vertical scrolling background in your Unity games. Last time, I did have a video regarding the implementation of the scrolling background which is in horizontal direction. In this tutorial, we'll be doing a repetitive background in vertical direction. Besides that, we will be moving the player together. Last time, the player is standstill with the with only the background is moving. So, let's get started. As you can see, I have prepared a player sprite over here, which make up of a I mean a square shape. So it will have a player script attached to it. Let me show you. The player script contain a float which is ms the movement speed. So when we click the up arrow, it will translate on the upward direction based on the movement speed. When we click a down arrow on our keyboard, then it will move to on to downward direction. So let me test it. So as you can see, it will move up and down just like the screen. Now let me, as you can see, I have prepared a background sprite over here. Now, let me try again. Now, when we try to move the player, the camera is not following our player. So, the first thing we need to do is make sure our camera is always follow the player. So, let's go to a script folder, create a new script. We will call this camera control. Then, double click to edit it. In this script, we will need to uh, declare a variable which is public transform. We will call this target which is the target we want the camera to follow. So now uh, let leave the start method because we later will be using it. Mm, we will keep the uh, actually not using an update method, we will be using a fixed update because currently we are moving the player which should be independent by the frame rate. So the update method is actually update once per frame. Means that the movement of the player will be greatly affected by the low frame rate. Uh, I mean the frame rate of the device, whether it's a low frame rate or higher frame rate, if you're using the update method. So we should uh track or Move the player without interference by the frame rate. Now we need to define a vector tree position, which is the target position of the camera, equal to new vector tree. Uh, so the x will be the target position dot x, and of course the y will be the target position dot y, and lastly the z axis will be retain the value from the camera. This is why we create a new vector here. We will be only moving the camera in the x and y axis, following the player on the x and y axis. So now what we simply is set the transform of the camera top position equal to target position. Okay, cool. Now we can go back to Unity and try to test it. Mm. Uh, oops, I think I forget at the script. So let's go back to our camera. At the camera control script, make sure you set the player as a target. So let's test it. Now, as you can see, the camera is following our player. We can further improve the method by smooth out the camera movement. So at the target position, transform to position, we will be using a vector tree dot load function. The load function is the linear interpolate between two points, which will smooth out the movement between these two points. The first point will be the original position, which is our camera transform dot position. The second followed by B, the target position, and lastly the T value. The T value when it is equal to zero, it will return our Original position when it equal to one, then it will return the target position. 
when uh, 0.5 which will return a midway between these two points. So for now, we will be using a ping 0.2 well do. Yeah, let me test it. So I'm not sure whether you notice or not, our camera is much more smoother than just now. Yep, cool. You can play around the T value which suit you. Okay, cool. Now our camera follow function is done. Now we move to the implementation of the vertical scrolling background. The first thing is duplicate this background. We will call this background two. Then we will add a box glider to the. Uh, so let me undo and add it to the both both of the background. The reason we add the box glider to the because we want to get the size of the. I mean the background. So set the background to Y position to the height of the box glider. To the which is 20. Now, as you can see, our background tool is placed directly above to our from our background one. Okay, cool. Now we need to go back to our camera control script to make sure our when we move the player to the background tool, we will try to flip the background one over the top of the post background tool. So we need to define two more variables. The first first one will be transform background one followed by a transform background two. Okay, then we need another float value which will prior field, which is the size. So now at our start method, we will need to get the size of the background first. So size equal to background one dot get component box glider 2d so dot size now we are target on the y axis now okay as after we have get the size now we can move to the implementation so let me add a comment over here this is for camera and now we are do for the background so for the background firstly we need to check if the current camera y position whether is greater or equal to the background two position which is the background on the above so if yes then we need to flip the background one over to above the background two so now we will set the background one top position equal to new vector three Mm, yep, vector 3. So for the x axis, we will remain as a background 1. Then, as for the y axis, we will get the position of background 2 plus the size. So this will place the background above the first background. So the z axis will retain the background 1. Now, after we have moved the background one position, we need to switch between these two backgrounds because now the background one will be above the background two. So we will need to create another method called switch background. So we will set the uh, temporary transform to equal to I uh, should be background one. Then we will set background one equal to background two, background two equal to the temporary position. So now, after we have uh, moved the background one, then we call switch background. Cool. Now, let's go back to Unity. Uh, take a look on your camera object. Make sure you place the background and background two correctly. Now, we try to test it. So now, we try to move the player to the background two. Now, as you can see, our background one is flipping over to above the background two. So if we try to continue moving our, it will produce a endless vertical scrolling background. So, yep, cool. This is what we 
want to create. So, um, we there is one more issue over here. I'm not sure whether what is the characteristic of your game. Now, as you can see, if you move the player downward, the background does not moving move back to the original position. So we will fix it now. Now we will do another checking on the camera position. So this will be if camera top position, Y position I mean if less than the background one position which is lower than the background one position then we will flip the background two to the below of background one so actually just repeat the same thing now we will set the background two position to a new vector three retain the background two x axis get the y value of the background one minus the size of the background then retain the z axis of the background too cool after we done that of course we need to switch the background now we can go back to test it we try to move it outward first let me score on zoom it nicely Cool, as you can see, the power is working. Yep, moving down is working too. Yeah, this is actually the feature we want to implement. One last thing, we can further improve this function because the new keyword over here actually it will create a, I mean, garbage collector, uh, create a garbage for the compiler to collect. So we want to avoid this because I'm not sure whether your game is heavy or light. If light game, if your game is light, there should be no any problem. But if your game is heavy, a heavy game, then we should avoid it. So we will create three vector over here to prevent the new keyword every call every time during the update. So the first vector will be a camera target position, followed by the background one target position and background two target position so now we are create another method uh, which will return a vector tree we are call this set position so it will take a x y and z value uh, of course and also a vector which we want to set a vector tree we are call this post cool basically we just set the post dot x equal to x y equal to y and z equal to z yeah lastly return the vector cool now let me replace the new keyword to the set post uh, let me place the camera target post over here. Uh huh. Oh, sorry. I should be this one. The new vector tree. So set post camera target position. Yep, call replace it as set post. Then this will be background one. Target position and copy this. Lastly, the for the background too. Cool. This is how we avoid the new keyword. Now it will just create a single time during the script start. So go back to our Unity. Let me test it again. Make sure everything is cool. Yep. Try to move wing outward. Cool. No problem. One more time, yep. Cool. Yep. Let me increase the speed so we will move faster. Ugh. Yep, cool. 
I think that's it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helps you. If it did, please give this tutorial a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.